Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here. Hey, have you heard? Playoff baseball is back on the western slope as the Grand Junction Rockies look to take game one of a three-game series against the Ogden Raptors. Let's get right to it. This game early on was all about pitching, as we see here in the first. Hell, Chris Oliveira strikes out Andy Pages. Then next batter, Sarin Lau. Yeah, you can sit down, too. That ends the half inning. Pitching was good for the Raptors, too. Bottom of the first, Julio Carrera gets called out on strikes, and then we'll go to the second. More great pitching. Oliveira gets Zach Ching to strike out swinging, followed by Marco Hernandez. Oliveira struck out the first four or five batters, and this was a defensive battle here. John Lytle, he's going to ground one over to Ezekiel Tobar, and he has a little bobble, but manages to pick it up in time and get it over to first for the out. Later, more junction defense is let's go around the horn, shall we? They get it all the way around to Simpson, and this would end the top of the third as we see Pioneer League MVP jog off the field for doing a good thing. Next time we see him, yeah, not exactly going back to the dugout as happy. Leo, Leo Serrano gets the K. He had four strikes after five innings pitch. Bottom of the fourth, Raptors looking for a double play of their own. Vladimir Restituyo grounds one to the second baseman, gets the force out, but not the throw in time. Next batter, Todd Isaacs looks like, looks like he might make Ogden pay for it. Hammers one back to center, but Ishmael Contreras there to make the play. So close to the wall, he could punch it. Now, this is not how you want to give up your first run in the sixth. Bobby Johnson walks Jeremy Archoa, and guys, the bases were loaded. Siren Lau comes in to put the Raptors up by one. But next half inning, Colin Simpson shows off why he was named the Pioneer League MVP. He absolutely turns on this one. Bat flip and all. He ties the game at one apiece. And unfortunately, Rocks fans, that's where the good news ends. Late in the ninth, Andrew Shafts hits a home run. That would end up being the game winner. Grand Junction fault two to one.